Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel in the Notaro 1122. All right, Taurus, let's see what we got going on for you, my love. This is not going to resonate with everybody. Take what fits and leave the rest. Feel free to check the other signs in your chart once they are posted. If you like how I get on with my readings, hit that like button for your girl, okay? All right, give me messages for Taurus. Can I get three? Taurus, go on and get the bag, baby, okay? Go on and get the bag. All right, so let's see. Something important such as a new job or a raise. I like it. All right, let's see. Give me messages here. All right, so you have dealings or relationship with a younger man. Give me messages here, please, and thank you for it, Taurus. All right, Taurus. Oh, my. All right, situations and balance that require uh, require careful handling. And then you got the apple. Temptation will test you, okay? And it came out with this card, so just be mindful of that okay give me messages all right oh if somebody might try to get you to pop off don't all right they might be doing this intentionally all right and then we have the eye psychic ability trust your intuition here uh, that could be when it comes to this dealing with this uh, younger man i don't know yeah i'm gonna take it all right so we got love here slowly but surely getting ahead i like it all right. And on the bottom of the deck, you got good news. All right, then, Taurus. I see you. All right, let's see what we got going on for the Taurus. Give me messages, please, and thank you. nine of cups oh lord oh no i'm sorry six of cups you leaving somebody out in the cold somebody from your past oh yeah you are okay you may be telling somebody about themselves and walking away or either you realizing the truth about somebody then then not good for you yeah moving on all right so somebody you leaving behind give me messages please and thank you for taurus about this situation all right, this lands over here on take a reality check. What the hell? With the devil on the bottom of the deck and seven of cups. Uh, the three of pentacles, four of pentacles, and the nine of wands. Okay, so this is somebody that you are... What the hell happened here? I don't want to say anything until I actually clarify, but I think I already know what it is. Let's see. I cannot make this up. Exactly what the hell I was thinking is exactly what pulled up. The Seven of Cups and the Five of Wands here. Is somebody dealing with somebody else, a third party? And you know this? And it's telling you to trust your intuition. Hold on, give me messages, please, and thank you. You may be leaving somebody out in the cold. Hold on. Taurus, what the hell is this? I wasn't expecting this. All right, give me messages. What's the Six of Cups? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is somebody you're not dealing with here. This is a player, a manipulator. Manipulator. <laughs> a manipulator. Uh, someone here that is very uh, controlling here as well. Oh, no. You got to be mindful here. This might be somebody here that is actually keeping you in a cycle, uh, manipulating you into a cycle. Could be, you know, because that thing they do. Uh, but someone here could be um, 
manipulative by seducing someone, okay, and trying to keep the upper hand here. What is this? Yeah, Queen of Cups, Nine of Wands. Somebody here dealt with somebody that's immature, reckless here. Also in and out. This is a player. Nine of Swords here. Somebody this this caused somebody some some worry, stress, sleepless nights, and things like that. And I honestly think it's because somebody's intuition was on point. You already knew what was going on, felt it, and somebody's spirit was unsettled with this situation. So somebody may have started holding back with the Four of Pentacles. Let's see, the Page of Cups. Yeah, see, you kind of uh, left this person alone. This is somebody that you were in a committed relationship here with, too. Taurus, you could have had some type of glow up here. All right, going, ooh, yeah, you could have, either you're in a connection with somebody else you went from being single into a committed relationship or you're dealing with somebody else and somebody is looking at this, they see you happy. Now somebody, this person wants to come in with some type of apology here, but you're holding back. Give me one more. Yeah, there was an ending here, all right? And somebody, oh God, Lee, somebody here is deciding that they want to come and rekindle something with you. But this door is closed and locked. It looks like you are doing very well. It looks like you're happy. It looks like you got somebody loving on you here. And the Pentacles is looking pretty nice. All right, what's the three of Pentacles here? Yep, confirmation. All right, you guys, I got to get ready to go. All right, the two of wands here. Look at this. Now somebody wants to tell you the truth. Check this out. I don't know if this person has children by this other person, but this person is going to tell you that that other person was a burden. They were a pain in the butt. It was so easy when I was with you. I was happy when I was with you. I was blinded by the wand, the wop, whatever it was. It was just, you know, this. It wasn't nothing else. It wasn't nothing to it. I got love for you. Baby, let me put it to you like this. You better keep it pushing. You better keep it pushing. If you are happy without this person in your life, why would you open that door? All right, why? Why? I'm just saying. Uh, what is temptation will test you as this person? I don't even have to clarify that. It's this person. You got good news coming for you. <laughs> Some of y'all, the good news is, is that someone here may have wanted this person to get their... their just dues for hurting you. Guess what? That's coming through. All right. So hold on for a minute because I already see what this is here. Uh, why is this person coming back towards Taurus? What's the problem? Or give me messages about this situation, period. I already know why this person is coming back. Because you're looking good. And they're jealous. Just a bit. They're jelly. Don't be jelly. And this person betrayed you, too. Alright, so. That's funny how somebody that, you know, betrayed you, hurt you. Decides, oh, I want to come back. And expecting open arms. Give me messages, please. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. All right, give me messages, please, and thank you. This person may be traveling towards you. All right, they're admiring you secretly, and but you set up some boundaries with this person so they know that they just can't pull up on your door. All right, I'm telling you. Okay, I don't know if I said it in this one, but somebody's going to tell you that they're leaving all the other options alone, whatever, and trying to come towards you and make this right. Letting go of what was holding them back. Third parties and friendships. So, yep. Can't make it up. Can't make it up, okay? Look at this. All right, so we got third party here. So somebody was definitely dealing with somebody else, and they're trying to come back towards you. Could be a, be, be a baby mama here. I don't know. This person could have got somebody pregnant here. I don't know. But this person wants to come towards you, have a, uh, you know, have a, a chit-chat over dinner, it said here. But maybe your boundaries are up. Somebody's in deep regret. They hurt their own heart. But maybe this person is just in regret because they hurt your heart here. 
All right, somebody is praying, trying to see how they can get back with you. Let's be a family. Can I get a new beginning here with you? All right, but there's somebody else here. Can't make it up. Third party again. Okay. All right, and competition, baby. You're not competing with nobody. Why do you have to compete? <laughs> there's that. This person is a trip. You're not even thinking about this person, honey. You have moved on. All right, so this could be a karmic partner. All right, you might uh, literally have dreams about this person here. And it's because this person is, is really, really, really in your energy. This person really wants to come in and offer some type of commitment here. All right, and they're actually um, looking you up here. All up on your social medias and things like that. See what you got going on. What's going on in Taurus's life? All right, so I don't know. You might be hearing some tea about this person, some gossip. I don't know. All right, or either they're trying to see what's the tea with you. So either way, I don't know, Taurus. But I'm going to tell you one thing. You look good. You look blessed and highly favored. You look happy. You look like you're being loved all real good, too. You got the bag and everything else coming towards you. That temptation that's coming towards you, you may have real deep feelings for this person, okay? And that's one of the things that they're really banking on. And like it says, a situation imbalance requires careful handling, okay? You got to be careful with this one, sweetheart. All right, so... I don't know. This person may have come in and said, baby, I changed. I want to start again. You might want to, hey, I don't know. Me personally, um, it's like this. People show you how they feel about you. Believe them the first time, okay? I'm just saying. And if you got something good going on in your life and this person is kind of on the down and out or whatever pay attention to what's going on in their situation and yours and that, that might give you a clue as to why somebody's coming back okay but anyway but sometimes people do you know they make a mistake and we're able to get this back together but not this one all right um Taurus, you make some wise decisions sweetheart and congratulations on whatever it is that you're doing especially that new bag of money that's coming in okay i'm just saying all right my love bye